all right youtube how's it going welcome back to the channel so today guys we are going to be talking about the new content that's going to be released this coming august so more specifically dk confirmed that we have cash tiers for the month of august so usually contents like this are going to be released on the second week of the month like any other previous updates with selection packs um secret packs structure decks or whatsoever and i'm just basing this on my own experience as well with the game i think majority of the people already know this if not for new players it's always the second week of the month what we're going to talk about today is cashiers and cashiers alone so if ever these 15 cards is going to be added into the game we are going to assume their rarity once it's going to be released so for everyone who played master duel you pretty well know that URs are pretty hard to pull in a selection pack. We are going to take our chances if ever it's going to be an SR. And hopefully it's going to be an SR. But that's just copium right there. If They're just going to be putting all the cards into SR. So, we have this game for you guys. So, to start off, we'll have our boss monster, Arisart. So, in most of the previous um, tournaments, uh, regionals, and yeah, whatever major um, tournaments that I've checked by far, Arise Heart is always played on two copies. It would be somewhat irrelevant to put this one on semi-limited or to two copies uh, before it's going to be released because people are just using one or two copies of this in a deck or basically two copies of this in, in a deck. So having this retained to three copies, I think would be um, somewhat okay because people are just using two copies at best. Also, we are mimicking the OCG ban list. So it's going to be typically three copies so yeah a riser to three copies but a ur definitely a ur and then we have fenrir so you know what i feel about fenrir when decade announced that cashier is going to be released i have the same vibe with um fenrir and kit Kalos. before fenrir was on three copies in the ocg and then they limit it to, to one but they knew that it's still really good for the for any type of deck for the matter so they're just removing it entirely that is why in the ocg it is typically banned for master Duel, of course i'm pretty sure they're gonna put this one on sr that is just copium right there but i think that's gonna be generous enough to put this one on one copy on an sr same as what they did with kitalis Having to ban Kit Kalos in the OCG, but in Master Duel, they put it on one copy on an SR. So that was pretty generous of them to do that as well. Hopefully, we'll have the same thing with Fenrir. If they're going to put this one on two or three copies, they're really generous about it. And I'm pretty sure if ever they're going to do that, they're going to put this one on the highest rarity possible. So basically, or hopefully, we'll have this on SR. And then we'll have Ogre. So Ogre is somewhat good if you have no cards on the field. It's kind of works the same um, idea as Tenyi's. I would say highest rarity by far, I would guess this card is going to be on SR. Lowest rarity is going to be rare in rarity. Um, with the number of copies, I think it's it's gonna it's not going to be hit by a banis or whatsoever. I think the most important ones in the Kashtira deck are the Fenrir and the Unicorn uh, as an engine in most of the decks that are non kashtira so ogre maybe sr in rarity until three copies and then lowest in rarity i would assume putting it on on rare but i have a big feeling it's gonna be on sr for the shangri-la or shang era shangri era we'll have this on on a ur same with the arise art and like i said with the arise art it's gonna be irrelevant if you are gonna put this one on semi-limited yet alone putting this on one copy only on a UR. But we'll never know. This is Master Duel we're talking about. So possibly we'll be seeing this. Hopefully they're not going to put this one on one copy when it's going to be released. That would be non-fun at all. <laughs> I mean, having to lock your opponent into nine zones, it's not going to be fun for you, right? But yeah, let's see. Um, highest rarity I would possibly say about this card is UR. And I'm pretty sure that is going to be the... Uh, the same rarity with a rice art uh, with the number of copies basically retain this until three copies at best but people are just going to use this on two copies in most of their decks anyways so might as well gonna stay this on the ur then we have unicorn now unicorn is the second best um than fenrir so having this to two copies would be somewhat okay but having this on a ur would be understandable yeah i know in the ocg they are limiting this to one copy because it's the second best thing to a fenrir it's still really powerful also so having this on, on a ur on two copies before it's going to be released 
for Master Duel, I think that would be understandable, right? Then we have Scareclaw Kashtira. So the field spell, I'm pretty sure it's... Where's the field spell? So I'm pretty sure the field spell for the Kashtiras are... It's going to be a UR. It's typically like Pelerino. But the Scareclaw Kashtira is... I have some SR vibes with the Scareclaw Kashtira on an SR. It's still really good, by the way. You can search this one with the Primitive Planet for the Scareclaws. If ever you want to use that in, in a Kashtira deck. I tried using it in, in the Omega... Um, app for Yu-Gi-Oh! It's still good by the way. It allows you to search out the Scarecrow Kashtira. And also it has the Vanish effect. So, ups for that. Uh, three copies on an SR. That is what I'm thinking about this card. Then we have the Tier Elements Kashtira. Definitely SR. Usable with the Tier Elements and Kashtira of course. So having this on SR would be somewhat reasonable. For the Kashtira Rice Heart, I have some mixed feelings with this card, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a UR. Having this as one of the best effects also for the Kashtira archetype is going to put this one on a higher rarity. I would really say that. Possibly I'm going to put this one on a UR on the three copies. It hurts the deck in a bit if you're going to put this one on semi-limited, by the way. So I think having this on a UR would be somewhat understandable. Hopefully they won't semi-limit this card. It's, it's really good for... um. For the archetype as well. Um, what else? The Akashtira, uh, Extra, and the Overlap. I haven't seen these two cards in most of the decks. Uh, from the regionals, um, tournaments, locals, whatever. So I'm going to put this one in the lowest rarity. It's either a rare or a normal in rarity. That way we can just um, get these cards out. Just like the Solic and the... Uh, what you call that? The Solic and the Crime. But yeah. Let's see. And then we have the Birth. Pretty sure the Birth is going to be... SR. I have a big feeling this is going to be an SR. But I think we're going to put um, the Theosis on a UR on two, three copies. Having it to have the best effects for that matter. Birth is somewhat okay though. But allows you to uh, normal summon a level 7 is somewhat good. But I think Theosis is much better. Having to spell summon a monster from your deck to the field. So this is going to be a UR. Theosis is going to, is going to be a UR on two, three copies. And birth is going to be uh, SR on the three copies. The field spell definitely UR. There's no doubt about it. I have the same feeling with um, Pelerino about it. So having on one copy also in the, from the OCG, making it uh, really important for the Kashtira deck as well. So definitely a UR. Big Bang and preparations. I would say preparations is going to be an SR. Definitely an SR. But uh, people are just going to be using the one copy of this in most of the Kashtira decks. Big Bang, I would say putting this on rare in rarity for the lowest. Basically, the lowest one that I'll put Big Bang on is rare in rarity. And then the preparations will be um, SR in rarity. So that is basically it for the Kashtira cards that we have here. Hopefully, we'll have these cards out by next week, Wednesday or Thursday. Crossing my fingers about this. Because we have this one before that I really expected it would be released by July. But anywho... Tell me your thoughts on the, the preemptive ban list for the Kashtiras and tell me your thoughts with regards to its rarity in the selection pack. So this would be a somewhat a really good game on the start of the week. Anywho, so that is it for today. Hope you enjoy this kind of content. Like and subscribe for more contents like this in the near future. And I hope to see you guys by next week for Kashtiras. So, good night guys. Bye-bye.